today I'm going to show you how to use our new Profoto B10s. First, you're going to take off the lid or the cap right here, um, which exposes the bulb itself. This is the battery. Um, and when you turn it around, um, you're going to press down this white button for a couple seconds and it'll turn on. This is your battery life. So, um, and this is the modeling lamp. So if you want to turn it on, you can see right here, this is it on and this is it off. And it looks like it's at pretty low power to adjust the power of the modeling light. Just do that. And the beeping will indicate that it is at the highest point. If you want to adjust the white balance, you just push down the button and scroll across so you can see that it adjusts pretty well um and that's basically basically it um this knob here adjusts the actual um flash power um so when you have it hooked up um to your camera um with the remote you can play around with the intensity of the light um, but as you can see the the modeling light isn't changing when i am doing this because this number this big number here represents the flash output and not the modeling light output those are two different things So you're gonna wanna put the um, AirSync um, remote on your hot shoe. This is a universal remote, so no matter what camera you use, this is what you're gonna be using with the lights. And all you need to do is press the on button and you're set to go. Just make sure that the channels, um, I mean the channels shouldn't change, but um, the remote and the light should be on the same channel and I'll show you how to figure that out on the lights. Okay, so to figure out what channel your light is on, just press this big button and it should say A1 because this is on channel one, right? For a more wide shot, if you're shooting a family or um, you're just wanting a wider shot rather than a portrait shot, you can take both of the umbrellas and scoot them back. These are about five or six feet away from the wall. That's my son. Um, <laughs> and these will light up the entire scene um, beautifully. Then to turn it off, all you do is press this white button again and it turns it off. When you're done, you're gonna take um, the filter off and you're gonna attach the rod. You're gonna attach the rod back in here. You put the cap back on just like that. So these are the batteries right here. Um, if your battery power is low, which if you're doing a shoot, they will get low by the end of your session, um, press on the bottom here and they pop off. And all you need to do is plug in, um, plug these in and I'll show you where the charging station for these are. The charging station is right in here with the extension cords one extension cord is plugged in 
down here. And if the batteries are low at the end of your session, we ask you to take them off and plug them in right here. And you can tell that they're charging because this light is on. So when you're done, you just put them in this basket here and you're all good to go. And this little guy goes right in here with the batteries.